woke up today and decided I wanted some Robo Taco for lunch. Uh, two problems with that. One, it's Friday, and it's about 12.30, so it's going to be packed. And two, the app says it's going to rain in about seven minutes. And Robo Taco is about six blocks that way, so I'm going to hustle down there. Well, that place was interesting. I definitely hadn't been there in a while. Keen disappointment, however, is they stopped selling tortas. That's the whole reason I went there. Oh well, let's find a place to eat this food now. I'm sitting over here at the little food cart eatery, or as I like to call it, Little Tijuana, and I noticed these really dark clouds behind me. And the wind started kicking up a little bit. Don't be confused by the sunlight. So I opened up the app and it said light rain starting in five minutes. And I'm about 10 minutes away from the van. So, figured I better get my hustle on. And actually, I'm feeling a little bit of rain right now. It's just a very light sprinkling, but I'll have to finish the rest of my robo taco in the van. It's another thing that's great about this city. We got blue skies over here, barely any clouds, and then you turn around and there's a storm brewing. I think I can get this done in one minute before it starts raining. Decided to finish eating my Robo Taco right here next to the van because I happen to have parked in an amazing place and I'm gonna need to go inside when I'm done eating my food. This is Goodwill Industries. Not just any Goodwill, it's the mother load, the giant one, the largest Goodwill in Oregon. Ginormous, the biggest. So actually the store is not that big. 
it's just their main distribution center. So they have a lot of trucks and stuff that come in and out of here and sort all their stuff. But it still uses up a few city blocks. So remember how a few minutes ago I was freaking out about the rain and getting wet and all this stuff? Well, I went inside this Grande Goodwill and I found something very interesting. A Sanyo waterproof camera. I mean, look at this thing. It's got like little hatches and seals and stuff all over the place. And it claims to be 10 feet. Oh, come on, there we go. 10 feet of waterproofness. It even has a Xenon flash. Right on cue, here comes the rain. This rain is fantastic. Good Lord, it's raining outside. Look at this. That's amazing. There's so much water everywhere. Even all over the camera. I love waterproof. Dang it. I pulled my phone off the magnet mount and the uh, magnet's so strong that it ripped the glue off the back of my phone. And, man, that thing's strong. There we go. The eye ring came off of my phone. And now this magnet thing came off the back. I mean, it's not exactly rubber. It sort of is a little bit, I guess. But I think I'm gonna need some epoxy. Epoxy fixes everything. Head down to Home Depot and get some. <laughs> Loctite makes two-part epoxy in a bulk package now. So, went ahead and got the stuff mixed up, and uh, it's been clamped for five minutes. Now we're waiting for the cure, which takes about 20 minutes. Or they said workable strength is 20 minutes. And then 24 hours for a full cure, but I think if I give this about a half hour, we should be good to go, and those are not going to be coming off anymore. I may have tried to dry the epoxy on the back of my phone case on the defroster in the van, which you wouldn't think would be a problem, but apparently that thing puts out a lot of heat. My iPhone's cranky now. But, on a positive note, it cured the epoxy. This stuff is attached now really well. It ain't going nowhere.